répondu en plus. Je me dis qu'apparemment, elle demande son comité. Mais euh, que, euh, que le coup est oui. PhD defense. The title of my thesis is Interacting with Signifierless Design, the case of switches. The, this PhD is supervised by Stefan Yo, Nicolas Roussel, and Silva Malacuya. It was funded by Emilia Lille. As my thesis is about switches, I will run through the definition of switches, signifierless design, and their problems and research question, and how I approach treating these questions. Then I will go on to the two studies with their results and end it with several perspectives and future possibility for what's going next. There will be several new words in this thesis. Firstly, I will quickly present what is a switchet and why it is interesting to study. Switchet actually is a word I made up. as a portamento of swipe reveal hidden widgets. Switches are hidden under the bezel of the screen and are revealed with a swipe gesture. I showed a good example here just to give an idea. They can be triggered by a physical manipulation metaphor and that is what makes them different than other gestural interfaces. Switches exist on different platform and applications, notably on handheld devices such as Android and iOS, devices that have a very limited screen space. They also exist on certain laptop applications such as mail provided by MicroS. Switches are interesting to study in HCI because they are very common in modern user, modern user interfaces despite a relatively obvious problem. The problem is that if you don't know about the existence of a certain widget, nothing in the interface informs you that the widget exists and you might never be able to use it. The discovery issue is thus the consequence of lack of signifiers, a notion that I will now describe. Norman introduced the concept of signifiers as anything that convey useful information to users about what they should or they can do. This picture shows signifier in the physical world. The concrete path informs the pedestrian about where the park designers expect them to walk. But the dirt path inform about what people actually do as a shortcut. Here are some examples of signifiers that we can find in user interfaces. The little arrow of a drop-down menu indicates that there are other items underneath. 
a battery icon tells you if you can use your device for the next hour or need to recharge it. And a sliding switch communicates the gesture to change its state. I will discuss later different ways to categorize the signifiers. S switches are therefore signifier-less design. In this thesis, I use switches as a use case to investigate interaction with signifier-less design, which I will shorten as SLD. The research question in this thesis has been divided into four categories. The concern of the first category is to characterize the problem of Swujet, trying to avoid precise, uh, trying to provide precise definition for signifier and SLDs, and how the lack of signifiers might be an issue. My contribution in this domain will be mostly definition and discussion uh, about theoretical concepts. In the second category, I will try to assess the amplitude of the discovery issue by finding if user knows widget and SLDs and if, it, if they actually use them. My contribution here will be the design and the results of two user studies. In the third category, in case the discovery issue turned out to be low, I question how user can discover widgets and other interaction possibility despite the lack of signifiers. I will propose a model of user discovery based on the review of the literature and the original concept of SOK and DOK, which I will detail later. Finally, I question the reason why designer might prefer not to use signifiers, and I investigate positive consequences of such SLDs. The studies that I have done will provide some preliminary result in, the, in this domain and I discuss how this point could be studied further in the future. So let's start with the first question. What are SLD and how signifiers differ from other SLDs? My definition for signifierless design is interface design in which some interaction possibilities are not directly signified to users when they need it. The definition is quite obvious except for the words in blue. I add them to exclude some edge cases in which information is provided on users' requests or in parts of the interface that are not visible at the moment when users need them. This notion of directness will be defined more formally in a few slides as it relies on some subtle concept. Here, for the first example of SLD, is provided by common line interfaces which were common in the early days of the computers, but are now still used for some activities like system, system administration. As they rely on the principle of invoking comments by typing their names, the comments are not signified, and users need to memorize them or to know a way where to find them. Or users can just add the and the missing signifiers by displaying or writing a cheat sheet somewhere else. Then, graphical user, inter <coughs> graphical user interfaces propose an alternative to common line interfaces, which has later been called WIMP interfaces. WIMP stands for Windows, Icon, Menu, and Pointer. The SLD example in WIMP interfaces are therefore contextual menu, open with the right mouse click or control click, hotkeys that are only signified indirectly in the menus, but easy to remember if the function is repeatedly needed, such as Ctrl C and Ctrl V. Mouse pointing in a uh, specific area, such as hot corner, or reveal tooltips by hovering your mouse above a widget. Model interfaces, such, uh, such as addition mode in the text editor, or the function of the insert key. The same input has different effects depending on the mode and on the visualization of the current mode is the only thing that informs indirectly to the users about the consequence of this input. HCI research focused on establishing the concept of post one interfaces after when interfaces succeed the success in commercial products, for instance, Gestural interface such as swiping two fingers on magic mouse or flicking into scroll on smartphones. Voice controls such as Siri for what Siri can do are not displayed. So the user interface that we have just seen 
do not communicate some interaction possibility to users, or they do it indirectly, such as cheat sheet or hotkeys in the drop-down menu. So to understand this kind of design, we need to investigate a few things. First, how interfaces communicate interaction possibility to users. Here I will talk about signifier in semiotics. What types of information users need as they interact with, the, with interfaces. Here I will invoke the seven stages from Norman. And thirdly, how user can think about interaction possibility without signifiers. By here, I will address the affordances. And finally, using the three notions to state a precise definition for SLD. How do users interpret signifiers? Norman once said the word signifier comes from the field of semiotics where it has a long <coughs> and illustrious career. According, <coughs> according to the semiotic theories of Pierce, a sign is the combination of a signifier, an object, and an interpretant. The signifier is something that can be interpreted, such as an image, an action, or a pattern, etc. The object is what will be used in the inter 